Hi, one of my most popular videos is how to set up an electronics lab or a decent electronics lab. It's got over half a million views and I'll link it in down below if you haven't seen it. Now there was a whole ton of stuff in this video and it actually came to a total of just over $1,500 or thereabouts. And since this video came out, I've had countless people ask me, can I set up a half decent electronics lab for a couple hundred bucks? Well, let's give it a go. We're going to have to go ultra cheap, but I think we can do it. And sorry up front, I cannot possibly cater for all different uh, prices in all different countries and things like that. So I'm just going to assume that you're based in the US here. First up, of course, we'll look at test gear. Now, you've got to have a multimeter, and hey, we can't be picky here. We've got to go ultra cheap. We're not worried about safety and every qual build quality, everything else. We have to go cheap as chips. I'm going to keep it under 15 bucks delivered. So, you search for everything under 15 bucks. A lot of them are manual range, probably the majority of them, but I'd actually recommend an auto ranging multimeter like this uh, UniT UT136B uh, or maybe something like like uh, this one, which uh, curiously, they do actually compare to the 136B. So there you go. Both of those under 15 bucks delivered. The UT136B has been reviewed by uh, Lightages from the EV blog forum, and it's going to do the business for 15 bucks. Hey, and if you can afford it, get two of them uh, so that you can compare them against each other and use them for measuring voltage and current as well. Probably the most expensive thing you're going to have in your lab is an oscilloscope. It's an essential tool to see inside electronics. Now, a lot of people will say this analog discovery, 259 bucks, <laughs> blowing the budget right there. Not good enough. They did have a student version at $99, but I believe now it's up to $159. But I think we really need to keep this under 100 bucks for an oscilloscope and a lot of people will say get one of these uh, DSO nanos for 88 bucks on eBay no these are crap little fiddly annoying toys don't get one of those get uh, like a USB oscilloscope you've almost certainly got a computer laptop whatever a USB oscilloscope something like an O1 this O1 or a uh, Handtech one will do the business they're two at least reasonably known names in the business now this Handtech one here at 60 bucks, 20 megahertz, two channels, you know, it, it's okay, but it's not isolated and it's got a, like a, only a couple of K of memory, not a high sample rate, 48 meg samples per second. This one is at uh, $77, is a little bit better in terms that it actually has a logic analyzer built in, 16 channels, so it's basically the same thing with logic analyzer. That's worth it if you want the logic analyzer. Or probably a better thing here is this O1. You can actually get it a bit cheaper at about $81 but I recommend this uh, $98 if you can afford it for this uh, isolated one it's the I model it's got USB isolation I've done a whole video on how not to blow up your oscilloscope LinkedIn down below so in the, any one of those choices will probably do the business now, as for a power supply, these are one of the classic projects you can build yourself and from various scrap parts, many options to do your own uh, power supplies. But if you just want to get up and running, hey, look, you can get them for as little as 42 US bucks delivered for your classic, uh, you know, 30 volt, 3 or 5 amp uh, power supply. Mm, really should have one of these, at least. And as for function generators, well, you can pick these up for as little as 15 bucks, little kits like this, which, you know, they're not high frequency, but you can generate basic uh, sine square, uh, triangle, do, uh, DDS stuff. So it's certainly worth having some way to uh, generate uh, signals. So, yep, they're well worth the money. For a soldering iron, I recommend you actually go to Hobby King and get at least a temperature controlled soldering station. They're as little as 11 bucks. Look at this. Absolutely incredible. But uh, the one I recommend, and I've done a video on this uh, before is this Heiko ripoff. It's the Yihu 936. It's a ripoff of the Heiko 936. I believe it even takes uh, Heiko tips. So you can get reasonable tips from it. It's going to do the business. And the best thing about having a Heiko compatible iron is that you can use these uh, Heiko compatible ripoff tips. We can't afford the genuine ones. So we're going to have to settle for a four buck kit like this. They're not going to last long, but hey, they're going to do the job. And you need these uh, chisel types. And then you can even get the uh, 
uh, well type for doing uh, drag soldering as well. I've done a uh, whole video on how to do uh, SMD drag soldering, but yeah, that's an absolute no-brainer because the conical tips that come with uh, the soldering irons usually, they're pretty useless. So you need the chisel type and the wells and big fat ones for doing bigger stuff and things like that. And another area where I hate to skimp, but we have no choice is soldering, not only the soldering iron, but the solder as well. But hey, for a couple of bucks, we can get a roll of, once again, I recommend uh, 0.5 millimeters or smaller, 0.3 millimeters for uh, something like that of both, get yourself both lead and lead free solder like this. So, you know, you can get those reasonably cheaply. We can't afford a quality multi-core brand at, you know, 30 or 40 bucks a roll or something like that. And also flux, very important get yourself a flux uh, pen or a couple of these uh, cheapo flux pens. Uh, it'll make a surface mount and other soldering stuff much easier. And while you're at it, you might as well pick up one of these uh, tip cleaners as well. And to clean up soldering, you have to get some solder wick. So uh, some of this uh, Goot wick, it works okay. And get different uh, width ones, uh, you know, a large one and a very uh, narrow one millimeter type one as well. And you can get a set of cheap ass tweezers on eBay for four bucks. Yeah, it'll do the job. And you're going to need side cutters, and you can get those for a couple of bucks each. Make sure you get the flush ones, though. There uh, allows you to cut pins right on the board at the exact height you want. Actually, make sure you get at least two of these. One for just hacking stuff, and one for that you keep in really good condition, the uh, jaws on, so that you can cut nice and cleanly. And well, you might as well get like a cheap ass set of like all your regular pliers and stuff like that. Not great, but yeah, for a couple of bucks. Now you can spend money on a fume extractor if you really want, but hey, you can just uh, salvage some old gear, get the, uh, you know, 12 volt DC fan out of it and hook it up to your power supply and just have that blow the fumes away so they're not in your face. And as far as magnification for surface mount stuff goes, we can't do much on this sort of budget. So yeah, just one of these uh, inocular uh, type things for 10 bucks might have to do you. Mm, sorry. And well, if these USB microscopes are so cheap, you might as well pick one up as well for, you know, really close up uh, SMD work. They're pretty crusty, but yeah, they kind of do the job. And you've got to have a hot snot glue gun. So yeah, make sure you get some snot with it too. Now something that's nice to have is a hookup wire kit, different colours, 22 gauge, maybe different gauges if you can afford it. Of course you can always skimp here, you can always like scrap gear and get all the wires out and stuff like that if you really want. And some of this 30 gauge wire wrapping wire or mod wire as it's called, very handy. And of course you're going to need a breadboard, so I'd probably recommend one of these breadboard kits. Every man and his dog's doing these, so, you know, really choose your flavour. I mean, you know, they start from like seven bucks with a tiny little breadboard, usually you want bigger than that, of course. Uh, but, you know, it's got all sorts of parts and other things in these kits. So, yeah, just, you know, get one that might be suitable for you. Preferably with these little uh, jumper wires as well. They're really quite nice, but I don't know, you've got to spend maybe 20 or 30 bucks on a uh, breadboard kit. So something like this one here looks really good. It's a reasonable size breadboard. It's got all the jumper wires and stuff like that. That'll get you started. And of course, you're going to need some uh, Vero board, matrix board, strip board. So you can get the ones with just the uh, plated holes on there. Very handy. You can go for like uh, these uh, little kits like this. You can get a whole bunch of them for bugger all. And then you're going to need some uh, Vero board as well, which actually has the strips all the way down like that. So in various types and sizes. You can even get ones like these that uh, simulate the layout of uh, breadboards. They can be handy as well. So just get a few different types. Now of course you've got to stock up on components and thankfully uh, resistor kits these days are cheap as chips. Look at this 500 pieces 50 values. You're going to need some uh, quarter watt uh, through hole ones like these. Absolutely amazing prices and you're going to need uh, SMD uh, resistor kits as well. So I would recommend getting um, at least 0805, uh, 1206, and I don't know, 0603 as well. They're all, like, they're cheap as chips. So go for it. Stock up on these kits, through hole and SMD. And likewise for capacitor kits here, I highly recommend getting uh, some through hole uh, ceramics and of course SMD. Once again, you know, 0805 is a nice size, 0603 is a bit uh, small and stuff like that. And also electrolytic uh, kits as well. You can get uh, various ones of those. So just some mix of electrolytics, uh, ceramic SMDs and ceramic through holes should do the business. And it's not as common to use inductors, but if you need them, you need them. So just get some through hole inductors as well. 
and transistors as well, SMD and through hole various types and also uh, diodes as well and probably get yourself one of these lead kits, these are very uh, handy as well, 3 and 5 millimeter lead kits, you know these things are only like 5 bucks delivered for a lot of this stuff and, uh, and handy to have one of these uh, Zena diode uh, assortment kits as well, once again 5 bucks very well spent for all those values, 2 volts to 39 volts. It's a no-brainer. Some of these little adjustable power supply buck converters for like, you know, <laughs> less than a buck fifty each, worth having a couple of these in your junk bins. No worries. And surely some people are going to ask, well, you know, get some Arduinos and stuff like that and other electronics kits. And there's tons, you know, you just search for electronics kit on, you know, electronics starter kit on eBay and everyone's selling things like these these days and they're so cheap so you know maybe if you know a microcontroller kit or something like that if you want to get started yeah no worries so there you have it there's an example of how to set up an electronics lab really cheaply using mostly stuff from ebay and all those uh trilateral agreements and everything else that they have in place that make it so ridiculously cheap free to get stuff shipped from uh china it's absolutely ridiculous and that you can pick up all these resistor kits and all sorts of stuff for like one or two dollars delivered it's absolutely amazing so there you go for like 330 dollars there i know this is not going to suit everyone and if you're into various other things you might want various other stuff microcontrollers arduinos whatever if you're into uh, logic analysis and protocol stuff you're going to want different uh, types of tools and stuff like that but multimeter oscilloscope soldering iron uh, power supply breadboard kit wires and uh, basic component kits magnification and vera boards and stuff like that microscope that can pretty much get you up and running for an electronics lab it's fantastic for like around you know not much over 300 bucks so i hope you found that really useful um i'll try and put in links down below but yeah these things just search for yourself on uh, ebay and other spaces you might be able to get them on uh, amazon as well but they're generally a bit more uh, expensive um in the u.s and stuff like that and if you're anywhere else in the world yeah sorry it might be a bit different um generally you can get stuff from ebay uh pretty much anywhere in the world shipped from uh, china post it might just be a few more dollars for postage and stuff like that so i hope you found that really useful if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to discuss it links down below ev blog forum all that sort of stuff. Leave comments. Catch you next time.